Welcome to the Boston Scientific Acquire S in-service video. The Acquire S endoscopic ultrasound fine needle biopsy device has been designed to sample targeted submucosal and extramural gastrointestinal lesions through the accessory channel of a curvilinear echo endoscope. During the in-service, we will go over product information, product setup, and procedural steps. We will start with the features of the Acquire S EUS F&B device. The needle handle color is green to identify the needle as a fine needle biopsy device with a white stylet clip cap to further delineate the device as the Acquire S F&B device. The handle is designed with control zone technology and lubricant polymer to optimize control during actuation. There are two length adjustment locking knobs on the handle of the device. The device sheath length can be adjusted and moved to the desired length to accommodate different model echo endoscopes. This adjustment range is 0 to 4 centimeters. The sheath minimum length is 137.5 millimeters and the maximum length is 141.5 millimeters. The needle length can be set between 0 to 8 centimeters, allowing for controlled actuation into the target area. Both the sheath and needle length adjustments are set and locked by the physician by using the locking knob mechanisms on the handle of the device. The handle collar delineates between the two size offerings of the device, black for 22 gauge and orange for 25 gauge. The scope lure nut is used to attach the distal end of the handle to the curvilinear echo endoscope working channel once the biopsy cap is removed. A minimum working channel of 2.4 millimeters is required. The needle is made of cobalt chromium. Cobalt chromium provides benefits over some stainless steel alloys, including greater needle hardness and excellent tensile properties, including improved needle penetration, improved pushability, and increased resistance to deformation after multiple passes. The echogenic pattern extends to the needle tip to provide precise guidance within the target site under ultrasound. The Francine style needle tip is designed with three symmetrical needle points with fully formed electro-polished cutting heels for sharpness. The tapered point stylet is made of nitinol to provide more flexibility than stainless steel and can be used in the advanced position for ease of puncture. The tapered point stylet geometry is designed to center the stylet point within the sheath during device passage in tortuous scope positions. To set up the product, choose the appropriate size of device for the procedure and inspect device labeling to ensure it is within acceptable shelf life constraints. Now, remove the device from the carton and open the device package. Remove plastic insert containing the Acquire S device and syringe. Next, remove the syringe from the package. Ensure to visually inspect the syringe stopcock to confirm it is in the open position. Otherwise, do not use it. Prepare the syringe for use by turning the stopcock to the closed position. Set the syringe suction by pulling back on the syringe plunger until it aligns with the desired suction volume and turn the plunger clockwise so that the locking pin engages with the locking fins of the plunger. Next, remove the needle from the package and visually inspect the device for loose, bent, or broken parts, cracks, or other abnormalities. Inspect the catheter for any kinds of other damage. To prepare the needle for use, confirm the needle is fully retracted and that the needle adjustment lock is secure in the zero position. Turn the echo endoscope elevator control knob to lower the elevator and remove the biopsy cap from the working channel. Introduce the catheter into the echo endoscope working channel. Slowly advance the device through the working channel on the echo endoscope until the lure attachment meets the working channel port. Tighten the lure attachment by turning clockwise to attach the device to the working channel. Verify that the device is now securely attached to the echo endoscope. If it is necessary to adjust the sheath length, Loosen the sheath adjustment lock and reposition it to the appropriate reference point. The device is now ready for use. To use this device, once the target site is visible under ultrasound, 
verify the distance from the distal end of the sheath to the target site. Adjust the needle penetration depth to the desired position using the needle adjustment lock. To control the depth of the needle penetration, loosen the needle adjustment lock by turning the knob counterclockwise. Align the needle adjustment lock with the appropriate reference number on the device handle and lock in place by turning the needle adjustment lock clockwise. Advance the needle by sliding the handle towards the echo endoscope in a slow and controlled motion to penetrate the target site while observing the ultrasound image. Remove the stylet from the aspiration port of the device by gently loosening and pulling it from the device handle. The stylet can be coiled and clipped together using the clip mechanism on the stylet cap. Connect the prepared syringe to the aspiration port on the device handle. Turn the stopcock to the open position to apply suction. Maneuver the needle within the target site to maximize sample collection while observing needle penetration on the ultrasound image. After an adequate number of passes have been made with the needle, stop the suction by closing the stopcock by rotating until it is perpendicular to the syringe. Retract the needle fully into the sheath using the device handle by sliding the handle away from the echo endoscope until it stops moving. Secure the needle using the needle adjustment lock prior to withdrawing the device from the echo endoscope. Caution. Failure to secure the needle once fully retracted could result in damage to the echo endoscope or injury to the user. Detach the device by turning the lure connection counterclockwise and remove the device from the echo endoscope. Release the needle adjustment lock and advance the device handle to extend the needle out of the sheath. Remove the syringe from the aspiration port. Open the stopcock on the syringe and pull the syringe plunger back to pull air into the syringe. Reconnect the syringe to the aspiration port. Push the syringe plunger forward to expel the sample from the needle. Prepare the sample per institutional protocol. If additional passes are required, prepare the device by flushing the needle and wiping the stylet with sterile water or saline. Reinsert the stylet into the needle Examine for damage and repeat the previous steps.